डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर ऑन मेडिसिनल केमिस्ट्री दिस इज शिवभद्रा एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मेटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ ड्रग्स व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड व्हिच अंडर गोज थ्रू फेज वन एंड फेज टू रिएक्शन ड्रग्स व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड व्हिच अंडर गोज थ्रू फेज वन एंड फेज टू रिएक्शन if we can focus on the word bio transformation we can break it into two parts bio and transformation transformation means conversion means conversion of a chemical entity in one form to another form and bio term is used because it occurs in our body so we can define bio transformation as a process by which a substance changes from one chemical to chemical to another by a chemical reaction within our body now what are the fate of bio transformation there are two important fates for bio transformation the first is bio transformation is done for inactivation of drug mostly the drug take place the drug taken in our body is lipophilic in nature why this is lipophilic in nature because the drug have to cross different plasma membrane as barriers in our body but to excrete the drug from the body it must be chain form the drug can only be excreted from the body if it is soluble in water and this makes the drug inactive so the first important fate is to change the active form of the drug to inactive form so that they can be excreted from our body from our body now the second important phase fate is to change the inactive drug which is non excretable to the active metabolite which can be excretable from the body the inactive drug is known as pro drug and the active metabolite is the drug which can act on our body and the bio transformation will takes place in our body to change this pro drug to the active metabolite example levodopa aspirin aspirin all of these drugs are converted into active metabolites to act on our body bio transformation can takes place in two phases in our body phase 1 and phase 2 through various microsomal and non microsomal enzymes enzymes if we talk about phase 1 reaction they are also known as functionalization reaction because a functional group like coh sh oh nh2 etc is introduced to the drug to convert them into to water soluble compound so that they can easily excreted from the body and it is important to note that phase 1 reaction is basically a degradation reaction in which a drug molecule is degraded in a small metabolite in active in nature the phase 1 reaction occurs through oxidation reduction or hydrolysis reaction if we talk about phase 2 reaction they are also known as conjugation reaction in these reactions a small polar and non and more ionizable indigenous compounds such as glucuronic acid sulfate glycine and other amino acids get attached with the metabolites of phase 1 reaction the drug is completely inactively inactivated in phase 2 reaction and phase 2 reaction takes place directly on the principal drug or the product produced by phase 1 reaction now what are the different sites for the drug metabolism liver is the main site for the drug metabolism liver kidney intestine lungs adrenal gland placenta brain and skin are also different sites for drug metabolism now coming to the different classifications of phase 1 and phase 2 reaction 
types of phase 1 reactions are the oxidation reaction reduction react reaction and hydrolytic reaction and sub classification as uh, are also written here types of phase 2 reactions are gluconeuridation sulfate conjugation conjugation with glycine acetylation methylation etc one by one we can go through details of all these reactions coming to the oxidation reaction oxidation of aromatic moieties in this aromatic compounds that is arenes aromatic compounds that is arenes hydroxylated to their corresponding phenolic metabolites that is arenols this reaction proceeds via formation of a reactive intermediate epoxide which undergoes rearrangements to yield example i have given example of arenes which is converted to epoxide and then to arenols and these arenols have oh group another example is phenatoin in phenatoin also there is introduction of in phenatoin also there is introduction of an oh group on the benzene and form para hydroxy phenatoin and this para hydroxy phenatoin and arenols are having oh group so they so they become more water soluble and can be easily excreted from the body now the second is oxidation of olefins the metabolic oxidation of olefins leads to epoxide these epoxides are soluble sorry stable and non toxic and formation of epoxide leads to which is more water soluble for example carbamazepin carbamazepin have a double bond at 10 and 11 position which is oxidized to form carbamazepin 10 11 epoxide and and results in the formation of trans 10 11 dihydroxy carbamazepin having two hydroxy group and due to both of these hydroxy group the water uh, the drug become more water soluble and can be excreted from the body now to the oxidation of benzylic carbon atom carbon atom attached with the aromatic ring at benzylic position are oxidized and produce alcohol metabolites these alcohol metabolites can bind with glucuronic acid to produce glucone eliminated these alcoholic metabolites also oxidize further to aldehydes and carboxylic acid to be eliminated for example tolbutamide tolbutamide have a benzylic carbon which is changed to primary carbonyl to primary carbonyl and in the presence of alcohol dehydrogenase can change to corresponding aldehydes and corresponding carboxylic acids now coming to the oxidations of aldehydes and alcohols many oxidases generate alcohol as intermediate metabolite these alcohols conjugated with glucuronic acid and gets eliminated if not conjugated these alcohol produce products are further oxidized to aldehydes or ketones and these aldehydes and ketones oxidized to carboxylic acid oxidation takes place in the presence of alcohol dehydrogenase which is present in the liver and other tissues here as i have shown in the reaction that alcohol alcoholic group is group is changed to aldehyde group uh, which is further oxidized to carboxylic acid now coming to the second part of phase 1 reaction that is reduction reaction and the first is reduction of aldehydes and ketones many drugs and oxidative deamination undergoes uh, oxidative deamination and produce aldehyde and ketones metabolites major part of these metabolites goes for oxidation 
and some part get eliminated through reduction and further by conjug and further by conjugation aldehydes get reduced to primary alcohols and ketones to secondary alcohols an enzyme called aldoketo reductase is responsible for bio reduction of aldehydes and ketones in the liver and the kidney For example the drug propenolol on dealkylation produce intermediate aldehydes and the major part of these uh, intermediate aldehydes undergo oxidation to produce carboxylic acid and the remaining part can undergo reduction to produce propenolol glycol now coming to the reduction of nitro and azo compounds aromatic aromatic nitro and azo functional group drugs undergo bio reduction process and produce aromatic primary amine metabolite the process of complete reduction of nitro group containing compound is as follows the nitro group containing drug can form nitroso thiamine and then produce amines the azo group containing drugs can form hydrojo and then amines and these amines are more water soluble which can be easily get excreted from the body now coming to the third part of the phase 1 reaction that is hydrolysis of esters and amides hydrolysis is the major biotransformation pathway for the drug having ester groups the enzyme for this kind of bioconversion found in liver kidney and intestine the metabolic product of these reactions are carboxylic acids alcohols reactions are carboxylic acids alcohols phenols and amines the metabolic products are more polar and can conjugate with glucuronic acid for further excretion for example aspirin aspirin having coh group which get hydrolyzed salicylic acid and acetic acid both contain coh group the some of the acetic acid uh, get directly eliminated through urine now coming to the phase 2 reaction phase 1 reaction do not always produce more hydrophilic metabolites therefore metabolites again undergo phase 2 reaction and it results in complete deactivation and excretion of drug students it is important to note that phase 2 reaction does not always increase the polarity does not always increase the polarity but always terminate the pharmacological activity of the drug coming to the glucuronic acid conjugation that is gluco glucurono uh, glucuronidation this is the most common to some reasons these are d glucuronic acid is a derivative of d glucose and it is readily available in the body for conjugation second numerous functional groups can bind with glucuronic acid and the third it is greatly it greatly greatly increase water solubility of conjugated product here i have shown the structure of udp glucuronic acid this can bind to different drugs by removing udp now coming to glucuronidation with hydroxyl compoxyl compounds example alcohols and phenols here i have shown the example of phenol when get conjugated with udp glucuronic acid then udp is removed from the udp glucuronic acid and hydrogen is removed from the phenol and the phenol get directly phenol get directly attached to the uh, glucuronic acid to form ether glucuronide it is important to note that alcohols and phenols undergo glucuronidation to form ether glucuronide next is the glucuronidation with carboxyl compounds aromatic and aliphatic benzoic acid benzoic acid undergo 
gluconoridation with udp glucuronic acid to form ester gluconorides how these ester gluconorides form benzoic acid directly attached with the glucuronic acid udp is removed and the hydrogen is removed from the benzoic acid to form ester benzoic acid to form ester gluconoride removing udp aromatic amines form n gluconorides and the sulfhydryl compounds form s gluconorides in the similar fashion now coming to the sulfate conjugation conjugation sulfate conjugation is rather limited sulfate conjugation takes place with phenols and up to some extent with alcohols aromatic amines and n hydroxy compounds with an activated form of sulfate through an ether linkage Firstly, there is activation of inorganic sulfate to form PAPS. What is PAPS? It is a coenzyme three phosphoadenosine five phosphosulfate. This PAPS trans uh, helps in transfer of sulfur group from PAPS to substrate or metabolite to be to be conjugated. Now, the third one is the conjugation with glycine, glutamine, and other amino acids. Here I have taken the example of salicylic acid, which forms salicyl coenzyme A, which on conjugation with glycine forms salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is the glycine conjugate, the glycine conjugate of aspirin, which is inactivated form of salicylic acid and can be excreted from the body. The next is acetylation reaction. Acetylation is a method for drug containing primary amine, sulfonamide, hydrazines, and hydrazides, and produce amine. These types of reactions are catalyzed by N-acetyl transferase enzyme. Isoniazid and dapsone, both of these drugs are drugs can undergo phase two reaction to form amide derivatives. And now the addition reaction. drugs containing primary aliphatic amine phenolic or sulfhydryl groups are methylated by enzyme methyl transferase example compt that is catechol o methyl transferase catalyzes o methylation of catecholamines and hydroxy in and hydroxy indole o methyl transferases catalyzes o methylation of substrate rather than catecholamines similarly uh, like o methylation there is n methylation and s methylation n methylation undergone by 